Hi friends, welcome to Edupedia World. This is Varun Ganga. Friends, in our last session we have seen some examples how to find the cube of a given four digit number which are nearer to the bases like 2000, 3000, 4000 and etc. And now in this session with regard to the same concept we are going to find the cube of a given four digit number by using Evadunam Sutra. So why to wait? Let us see what that example is. The example that I am going to take in this session is Find the cube of 3009. So friends, in order to find the cube of 3009, we do have some parts of procedures that we have to follow. So the first part of procedure is the left part. Here in the left part, the first step, what we have to do is, we have to find the nearest base of the given number that is 3009. So here, the nearest base of 3009 is 3000. After finding the nearest base of the given number 3009, now we have to find the axis. Here the axis is 9. I think you know that the axis is found out by comparing the given number and the base. So here the given number is 3009 and the base is 3000. If we compare these two numbers, we get an axis of 9 and this axis of 9 is taken as our axis. After finding the axis, now moving to step number 3, now what we have to do here is, we have to multiply the axis with the 3. So therefore, 3 into 9 is equals to 27 is the product what we are going to get. After getting this product, now moving to step number 4, we have to add the product to the base what we have got. So therefore, by adding 3000 with the 27, we get 3027. And this new sum that is 3027 is regarded as the required left part. After finding the left part, now moving to the next part of processor that is middle part. So here in the middle part, the first step what we have to do here is At first, we have to take the answer what we have got in the left part and we have to find the nearest base and also the axis. So here, the nearest base for the number 3027 is 3000 and the axis is 27. So friends, I think you know that the axis here is found out by comparing the numbers 3027 and 3000. So if you compare these two numbers, we get an axis of 27 and it is taken over here. And now moving to next step, here what we have to do is, we have to multiply the axis of new sum with the actual axis what we have got. So here the new axis what we have got is 27 and the actual axis what we have got is 9. So therefore by multiplying 27 into 9 we get 243. And now this 243 is the required middle part what we have got. After finding the middle part. Now moving to the next part of procedure that is the right part. Here in the right part, the first and the last step what we have to do is, we have to cube the actual axis what we have got. So here the actual axis what we have got is 9 and by cubing the number 9 we get 729. And therefore this 729 is regarded as the required right part. Now after finding all the parts that is the left part, the middle part and the right part, since the base what we have got is 3000, therefore by ignoring all the zeros in the base, we have to multiply the left part with the square of the number that is 3 square and the middle part with the number itself that is with the 3. So therefore the left part what we are going to get is 3027 into 3 square which is equals to 3027 into 9 and by multiplying these two numbers we get 27243 and coming to the middle part by multiplying 243 with the 3 we get 729 after getting this left part and middle part and also the right part that is 729 now what we have to do is we have to write all the parts that is the left part the middle part and the right part in an order like this and now let us place some horizontal and vertical bars like this so friends here the base what we have got is 3000 and if you see the number 3000 we are having 3 zeros. So therefore we have to take only 3 digits in the right part and in the middle part whereas in the left part we can have as many zeros as we want. So friends now coming to the right part here the number what we have is 729 it is a 3 digit number. So therefore I am taking this 729 as it is in the answer and I am writing this below the horizontal bar like this. And now moving to the middle part, here the answer what we have is 729, it is also a 3 digit number so therefore I am taking it directly in the answer and I am writing it below the horizontal bar like this. 
and finally moving to the left part so here we can write as many digits as we have so therefore I am writing the answer that is 27,243 directly over here and I am putting one more horizontal bar below it and therefore by clubbing all the parts the answer what we have got here is 27,243,729,729 and therefore we can say that 3009 whole cube is equals to 27,243,729,729 so friends this is the way how we can use Evadunam Sutra in finding the cube of a given 4 digit number which is nearer to the basis like 2000, 3000, 4000 and etc. So friends I hope that you have understood pretty well how to use this Evadunam Sutra in finding the cube of a given 4 digit number and in the next session we will be having some more examples regarding with the same concept. So for watching this video thank you have a nice day.